Hey my friends, uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at this uh, Game Boy Camera, which is a uh, delightful blast from the past. Not something I ever had as a kid actually, um, but I always thought it was kind of a cool cool piece of what is now old school tech, I guess. Um, you know, obviously the uh, it's not much of a camera by today's standards, but it was pretty impressive um, at the time, and I was going to say I think at the time I think it was was it the first digital camera I don't think that's right but there's there's something something about it it was either the best digital camera at the time <laughs> or the maybe the smallest digital camera at the time um, so anyways I'm going to uh, take it apart I bought this off of eBay and it's uh, supposedly works so I'm just gonna take it apart uh, and clean the contacts real quick as per usual and then uh, Plug it in, see if it works. You know, just verify that it works, and then uh, um, I will, might tear it apart a little bit further and kind of see um, see what it what it looks like in there. I'm kind of curious, to be honest. This head rotates, which is pretty cool. Um, then it needs it needs kind of cleaning all around, so um, for sure I'm gonna get in there and clean it up real good. So um, yeah, we'll go from there. A few moments later. Uh, pretty interesting in here, I would say. Uh, right off the hop, we have a uh, one of these batteries to replace. Probably still works. Um, I have uh, old one games that are older than this with older batteries that are still holding the save. But uh, as a precaution, you know, before I get anything invested in it, uh, as far as stuff I want to save. <laughs> I have a whole drawer for all those batteries, so might as well pop it in there. It's easy to do, and that is definitely an original one. You see, it's stamped. Uh, well, it's upside down, but for those of you who aren't dyslexic, um, 9802, so February 98, presumably. Mm -hmm. Could be right. Could be something else, but um, either way, it's as old as this thing is, and I know this came out in the late 90s, so that's a uh, Holy heck, that's been over 20 years ago. How about that? Uh, anyways, you see the contacts are a little dirty. Not uh, not horrendous, but, you know, you got some some grime on there. So it's interesting how they have this done, too. Yeah, they have the wires kind of pre-twisted, so when you twist it the other way, untwist them, and you twist it back, it's, 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 it's pre-loaded or whatever, so it won't... Um, I imagine eventually, you know, if you cycled that thing a hundred thousand times back and forth, it might eventually fatigue the wires enough to break them, but uh, I don't know, it's set up pretty nicely, so. It was wily Japanese, I tell you. And just flipping around to the back side of the uh, circuit board here, we can see that it is indeed a 1998 release, which is about what I remember. I remember when these things came out, and it seems like about the right time for it. Um, interestingly, there's some, uh, uh, these blank pads here, and they're labeled TP1 through 4. I'm assuming those are test points, is what TP is going to stand for. So, let's see where those. And that's all on this side, I guess. That's kind of interesting. Anyway, so yeah, they made this, uh, like serviceable, which is impressive, actually. Um, didn't want to crack this open because I had to take the would have to take these two screws out, and eh, you know, uh, if it's all broke, don't fix it, kind of thing. So, and there couldn't be any any schmoo of any kind in there. So I will, um, I'll just uh, clean up around the outside here with some alcohol, and I got the contacts nice and clean. Uh, you guys want to keep in mind using um, Brasso or anything like it. Uh, it is um, abrasive, so you don't. Um, you know, these are these are, have a micro plating of gold on there, and it's pretty hard. Uh, it's, it is specifically like a specific gold alloy that's a little harder than um, like soft gold. It is called hard gold, but uh, it, it is abrasive, so you don't want to go nuts with it. You only want to uh, apply as much as you need, and uh, only scrub it as much as you need to get it clean, and then uh, make sure you get it all off of there uh, with a nice alcohol rinse, um, so it doesn't. Uh, cause any corrosion because I believe if you leave it on there it will uh, will actually be very counterproductive so always keep in mind you want to give it 
give it a nice nice wash with some isopropyl alcohol. So I'm gonna put this thing back together after I clean it up a bit more and then uh, should be good to go. Yeah, so it works. Um, I didn't know that it had a, a Super Game Boy functionality, but apparently it does. So I wonder if there's any extra features. But it obviously has the, uh, instead it's obviously got it programmed, you get the special border at least. That could be the extent of it. Uh, sometimes that's the only extra functionality you get out of uh, the Super Game Boy enabled games. But uh, yeah, so very cool. Let's see. Like I said, I've, I've never, uh, never had one of these as a kid, never uh, checked it out myself, so I'm looking forward to playing around with it a little bit. I, uh, <laughs> the rotating head is really, uh, there's some cool stuff there, so. Now, interestingly enough, uh, you know I have the, as if you if you watched the, uh, Super Game Boy video, you know I did this, uh, uh, I'll turn on the light here, uh, the underclock mod. Right now I just have it running at the standard speed. Let's see if, uh, let's see if it'll work on the lower speed. I found some games that won't respond to that for some reason, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but, uh, so we switched it over to the underclock speed. Let's see if it, okay, that's a good sign. And this, it gives you a blank screen. It did that the first time too. Yeah, and then it fades. See the slight change in tone there? So, now it's running at the speed an actual Game Boy would. So, anyways, so I'm looking forward to checking this out. I might, uh, um, I, I, they have a, uh, they make a, I'm not sure exactly what you'd call it. It's kind of, it, I think it is a ROM dumper actually. Um, so you could get, uh, pull ROMs off of Game Boy games, uh, for making a backup or whatever. Um, or pirating, I think, however you want to look at it. Um, and the, you, the, it also it allows you to get Game Boy uh, camera files off of here instead of having to print them out on the Game Boy printer, which I also don't have and probably won't get. So uh, that'll be fun. I can take some some Game Boy camera pictures and I might uh, might include those in some of my videos. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. It's fun to look at yourself.